Alrighty, I'll see you. Those who've been following my channel the past couple of years, I think we're getting close to two years now uh, on the channel, know that when they see an empty crawl space, uh, things are uh, coming to fill it. Um, and you know this time of year is when I get my mowers and I have gone to get uh, this year's shipment and they're all sitting right there. And you can see I have a few little goodies on the top. Um, this is only the first of two loads that I'm getting. Uh, end up getting eight pallets total. Six mower pallets. And I'm going to try out a little bit of different lawn and garden stuff this time just to see how it does. And I'll uh, do, a, I guess, a video specific on that as the time comes. Um, but right now there's four here mower pallets um, when the second truck load comes tomorrow when I go get it um, it'll be pallet number five and six and then the two uh, other lawn and garden pallets uh, one of them is well has a few cordless drills in it but is mostly just hyper tough brand string trimmers and hedge trimmers and the other one is I think a bunch of 20 volt Black & Decker stuff that's still in the box like hedge or trimmers I think there may be a chainsaw or two we'll have to see when we open this up but um, it seems like a very good lot this year I see uh, I know I have more than one uh, higher end snapper versus if y'all saw last year's load the only snappers I had were the SP 90s here I think these are the ones Actually, I think oh, this is a rear wheel drive there. The SP60, I think they're the 65s. It's been a while. Um, so I've got those. Um, you know, a few Hyper Tufts, probably about 25% of them, and then the rest are Murray's. Uh, maybe not quite 25%, but pretty, you know, Hyper Tufts usually rule because they're the value mower and they're the ones I get mo the most of. Um, have quite a few. I think like three or four of these Black Max push mowers with the Honda engines on them this time. So those are really good sellers. Um, and SP110 Snapper, this is actually the all-wheel drive one. I have not gotten that yet. So, uh, so I'm going to get these things off and see if there's any surprises. If so, I'll put it on the video here. So even just unboxing here, I've already got a kind of variety of things that I guess I kind of want to share. Um, just kind of as pointers, especially if you kind of want to get into the business or just kind of want to know how I look at things and, you know, little things that I find on these pallets. Because, you know, they're customer returns and they're not going to be, you know, like you're buying them brand new at the store a lot of times, especially the ones that are out of the box. There's little tidbits that... that I guess could maybe give you some hints as to what uh, could be wrong with them. Like this one over here, I mean, you'll see you've got price tags of, you know, clearance items and open box items where they may have tried to sell um, them at the store, like this one right here. You know, this is a, usually a, like around $100. $50 lawnmower and they're trying to sell it for 98 bucks because it's an open box item again it's not in bad shape it's probably fine uh, with just you know just a little bit of carb cleaning and stuff and you've got stuff like this that you that I find with you know broken exhaust covers I mean that's an easy fix I've got an exhaust and a wheel here I might be able to get this wheel back on but you can see it's kind of been damaged on the side there and you know missing a gas cap again got tons of those in the stockpile and bent handle I mean you see just you know either they're damaged in transport or damaged you know when people get them but on the price tag front like this one right here still in the box it has a clearance of $124 on it which is you know regular $158 my guess with this one is since it was marked clearance and it's still taped up is that that one is probably a brand new mower and I will get to that so I can probably just get this one open and assembled and be okay I got my knife here let me actually look at it real quick
I'm looking at it, if I can get a flashlight out. It's not a new mower, but it looks like it's barely been used. You can see a little dirt on the wheels and stuff down here. Um, and that might just be dirt from transport, but let's see. Still got the owner's manual and stuff in it, so that one may have been used just very, very lightly. Uh, not sure, but um, I'm going to try and keep some of these in the boxes for now just because I'm about to stack them about three or four high just to get them, uh, get them all in, the, uh, in this crawl space by taking up small spaces. But other little nuggets, like I've never gotten things really in addition to mowers. And again, you can see that this is the regular price on this SP90 is 266 So you can kind of gauge what you're going to get for them on condition and, and that. But like here's an edger and a couple of jump starters that literally are just thrown into these pallets. And this one right here is just saying didn't meet expectation. Honestly, it looks like, um, you know, who knows if it's even been opened. Um, they look like they've both been opened. This one right here says it's damaged. We'll have to look. Kind of want to do a separate video on all the extra stuff. So y'all see that later. Um, And then this edger was didn't change his mind. As you can see, that edger was used. But so, you know, edger probably works fine. You just have to go price them out because sometimes they don't have the prices on them. These Black & Decker's things don't really get much money, but if you get a lot of them, then it should bring decent money, you know, for a lot of sales and whatnot if you're able to do that. So I'm going to continue going through these. If I find anything else interesting, those are just a few tidbits that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, if y'all haven't seen me like unboxing these things and whatnot, uh, as to kind of what I find and you know first impressions and stuff. So I'm going to continue working on these. And if I find anything else, I'll put it on the end of this video. And like I mentioned, you have some surprises here. There's a bagger. Here's a and mind you, this is all Walmart. Troy built self repel push mower. Walmart doesn't sell Troy built, they're sold at Lowe's only. So that's interesting how that got in uh, in there. Uh, but it is a Troy built self repel and it looks like it is almost new. It's been used a little bit, but it could be like the belt just slipped off or something. So those bring good money. Troy built seem to bring a little bit better money than the Murray, so that's a nice little bonus. About halfway done. I'll see if there's any surprises on the truck there. All right, so stack one is in here. One, two, three. Let's see, that's 10, 16 in the box, and I believe it's 11. Thirteen, excuse me. Thirteen to make it uh, 29. So, uh, 29 in that lot. I think I'm going to have 45 total uh, from what early indications are. And then all those little extra goodies. I found two more of those jump starters in the back or in one of the pallets on the truck. Uh, and actually, a uh, cordless drill, Bridging Stratton, or excuse me, a Black & Decker cordless drill. So, those honestly are just freebies. Um, so, here's day one. And we'll pick up more of a day two of uh, picking up the rest of them. And so here's day two. Um, going to get the second load of mowers and other equipment. Um, first glance, everything looks good. Uh, I realize I think I have a, another all-wheel drive snapper push mower in here. Uh, I actually have a real push mower, so I'll get to see how those sell. Um, an electric push mower. Hopefully that works well. I had one that I thought I got fixed but it didn't have any luck with. Uh, that one's still in the box so hopefully it's new. And the equipment over here. I have some hedge trimmers and some drills. I think if I could find one. They're down further in the box but they're like 18 volt and 20 volt cordless drills and those electric string trimmers. Mostly Black & Decker 20 volt brands of string trimmers and blowers and 
hedge trimmers here. I think there may be a chainsaw or two in there and a couple of real mowers and I think one snapper blower. So I'm going to get all these out. If I see anything interesting, I will uh, put it on the video here, um, especially that lawn and garden pallet. All these look good with them mostly being in the boxes and stuff. So I'm kind of fighting the rain, so I'll go ahead and get to work. Well, the good news is I got everything in here with uh, room to spare, which is good. Um, for those of y'all who've watched my channel, y'all know I mostly do lawnmowers, the customer returns. I tried doing these, or I'm going to try these uh, corded and cordless weed eaters, blowers, hedge trimmers, chainsaws, garden shears, whatever else it is. That's probably going to be the next video that I do on the channel. The mowers will probably be probably after the new year before I get around to them since they don't, they're don't they not really going to sell until the beginning of the year. The hope is that I can get some of these out, especially like the blowers and stuff um, for the Christmas season. Uh, the I mean, there was no surprises with what I pulled out um, except for this real mower here the Sunjo brand real mower doesn't have any handle or anything to it so I'll either fabricate something or not worry about it um, I think I've got around 100 pieces here so like I said the next video is going to entail me going through these cordless probably the blowers and uh, chainsaws since they're the ones that are more in season now and the the trimmers and stuff will come later uh, so at least for the time being I had two real mowers and then that one without the handle uh, I think somewhere in the neighborhood of 43 to 45 regular push mowers gas powered push mowers one electric push mower so maybe just uh, maybe just over 40 push mowers but about 43 to 45 in total though like I said I'll get to those later but thank you all for watching, um, and I'll get uh, get the next video soon. And there's a little bonus here. I guess this, these are like garden shears, which I've never really even seen before. So that would be kind of cool to go through as well in future videos. Um, but again, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.